The Horizon Project. That's what we're talking about tonight. And is there going to be a catastrophic event that will occur? How will that affect us? In a moment, our special guest, Brent Miller, on Coast to Coast AM. Brent Miller is considered an expert in e-commerce systems by IBM as well as advanced programming, data systems, business methodology. Brent has personally amassed over 30 United States patents for advancements in human interface recognition software, artificial intelligence applications, and data transmission protocols and analysis. And he has now on a lifelong dedication to the Horizon Project Research Team, working with many of the top researchers and scientists to unlock the greatest mysteries of our world. He is our guest tonight on Coast to Coast. Hey, Brent, first time, huh? Yes, it is, and it's a pleasure to be on your uh, show. Good to have you with us as well. Tell me when you got involved in the project, the Horizon Project, even before we start talking about what it is. All right. Um, I created the Horizon Project as a means to gather the best scientific and um, actually the, the best knowledge and scientific thoughts in many fields to understand who and what we are. In order to do that, the obvious starting point was to study our past. But in understanding our past, George, we can better understand, well, what it is to be human, and then better understand where the human race will be going into the future. Um, This project escalated into something we never imagined it would go to. Because when we first started delving into our past history, we immediately solved or saw many unsolved anomalies and in various cultures and civilizations. Uh, For example, civilizations and cultures that would suddenly vanish without a trace. And there was no clear explanation of why they disappeared. Many theories, but no explanation. And these these cyclic patterns of cultures appearing and disappearing, leaving entire cities, uh, you know, as their legacy, you know, undisturbed for thousands of years, was one of the pieces of the puzzles that we had to solve. So our first goal was to find out what happened to these cultures. And this is what caused us to branch out and pull the resources and discoveries of many of the top scientists and researchers in many, many fields to even start to get a grip on what was going on. So that is how we started the Horizon Project, by looking now, into and our when, And when you say we're looking into our past, how far back, Brent? Uh, recorded history. We We tried to go back as far as written records would show. We can typically go back about 2,000 years, and it's very clearly defined what happened for about 2,000 years. Beyond that, within about 6,000 years beyond that, so a total of about 8,000 years, um, we do have a historical kind of like bits and pieces of the puzzle, rises and falls of civilizations, but they suddenly vanish. Not only do we see civilizations vanish, but we see technology vanish as well, uh, as, if, as if they were wiped off the face of the earth. Um, it would be akin to today of us having, say, mechanical gears, which, which are commonplace. Everyone on right. this planet knows how to make a gear. Sure. And suddenly, uh, 2,000 years from now, gears don't exist. You know, if, if you think about our culture today, and what must happen to it in order for gears not to exist on this planet to be rediscovered 2,000 years from now. These are the type of anomalies we're looking at, and these are the type of anomalies that really need the question answered, what happened to these civilizations, especially when we delve into the technologies that they left behind that we are only rediscovering. Do you think, Brent, that civilizations, past civilizations, could be, as Michael Cremo believes, uh, who's been a past guest on Coast to Coast, millions and millions of years old? That I don't know. Um, Our research only went back to the dawn of recorded history, and I I think the very first reference is about 9000 B.C. But quite honestly, uh, there is a lot of scientific evidence, even though we haven't looked into any of it going back beyond that, that mankind and the dinosaurs dinosaurs roam the earth at one time together. Um, it seems far-fetched, but the, uh, in fact, I, I was given information about two weeks ago that the oldest uh, human skull or humanoid-type skull was about 3.2 million years that they've been able to find. So there might be some credence to that. All right, let's talk about the Horizon Project for a moment, and we'll go back and talk about the past as we build this. What is the Horizon Project research team? Okay. The, the team itself was assembled 
as a result of not being under understand the the basic gaps in cultures and civilizations that I mentioned simply vanished uh, along with the technology and the uh, the technological advances that were made back then that suddenly disappeared. Some major worldwide global catastrophe had to have happened um, in order to...